Hi, I'm Beth Summers from the Wilton Test Kitchen, and I want to talk to you today about large batch cookie baking using a cookie press. Wilton offers a variety of cookie presses, but today I'm going to work with my favorite press, the Cookie Pro Ultra 2. These are great for the holidays and great for cookie exchange because you can bake seven to eight dozen cookies out of one batch of cookie dough very quickly and very easily. Now this is the Cookie Pro Ultra 2. It's very easy to assemble and it comes completely apart for easy cleanup. And it is also top rack dishwasher safe, which is great. This is the plunger portion and it has a see-through barrel that screws right onto the plunger. The see-through barrel is nice because you can see how much dough you're working with. While you're, while you're putting your cookies on your sheet. The plunger itself moves up and down. There are teeth on the plunger here, and when they're facing away from the handle, that's when you can move it up and down. The Cookie Pro Ultra comes with 16 different shaped discs, some holiday themed and some regular, and there's a ton of ideas for creative options with just the discs alone. The discs are marked on one side. They say this side out. So that is the side that you want to put down into the, the bottom ring of the press. And then this just screws on just like the top did. To engage the plunger, you simply turn it so that the teeth are facing towards the handle and you'll begin to hear a click like that. Now you're going to want to use spritz cookie dough in the, in the cookie press. It's different than regular sugar cookie dough. It's going to bake up and hold its shape a lot better than a regular sugar cookie dough. So use specifically spritz dough. The Cookie Pro Ultra and all of Wilton's cookie presses come with three different recipes, two sweet and one savory, and you can visit wilton.com for a lot more options. When you make your cookie dough, do what I've done and form it into a log. You can do several logs. I got about five logs of this size out of one batch of dough. And this is great because you can easily put it right into the barrel. And if you have any excess, you just scrape it off like that. And I have my disc pointing downwards in this ring. So I'm just going to screw it on like so. My plunger is engaged because the teeth are facing the handle. You're just going to put this onto the cookie sheet down, all the way down. You're just going to depress the handle one time. You'll hear the click and that will signify that the dough has actually come out and you'll have one cookie on your pan. You just pick it up, move it just a couple centimeters away from your last cookie and do the same thing. Repeat. You can fill up your whole cookie sheet just like this very quickly, bake off multiple trays of cookies at a time if you'd like, very fast, very easy way for large batch cookie baking. Now decorating spritz cookies brings even more options, not just the shapes but also with what you can do to the tops of the cookies. You can color your dough when you're mixing it with Wilton icing colors. You would just add that color in with your butter. Or you can sprinkle the tops of the unbaked cookies with colored sugars or sprinkles. You can also um, pipe on designs to a baked cookie using cookie icing or royal icing, and also think about using small candies. The cookie presses are great for the holidays, but the multiple shapes and decorating options makes them great for all year round.